Today, we're doing a The Rise of Skywalker movie review. Movie review. So, attention, this does, in fact, does have spoilers inside it. So, if you are waiting to see the movie when it comes out on the things like Disney+, Plus. Google Play movies, that kind of stuff. And then you, you shouldn't really watch this video because it has major spoilers. But if you've seen it in the theaters these past, this past week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days, then yes, this is okay for you if you just want to see what people think about the movie. Okay, so first, the main point about this is, okay, yes, I'm drawing bad. Very, very bad. You have Rey. That, that, look, that looks more like Kylo Ren. They are all draw Rey. That also looks like Kylo Ren. Well, Rey, I know, Kylo Ren and Rey. So, basically, what they're going to be doing throughout the entire movie is fighting in lightsaber duels and stuff, to find this thing called the Wayfinder that's going to take them to a planet in the unknown regions where Emperor Palpatine still exists called Exeda or something? I do not know how to spell that. Anyways, and so, this is what happens. First, they go to a bunch of different planets, and then when they go to this planet right here, they go into this festival, and then they get sunk in this, this quicksand kind of thing while escaping from stormtroopers that fly. And then, when they get in, it's a big cavern that has a dagger in it that is written in Sith writing. Oh, and guess what? Plot twist! The only one who can decipher that is C-3PO, and it's against the programming that Anakin made in the first episode to translate from Sith writing. Therefore, he cannot translate from the dagger. So, he has to get his entire memory flushed so that he can translate this so that they find the Wayfinder so that they kill Palpatine. Yeah, makes sense? Eh, kind of. Yeah. So then, they find the dagger. C-3PO's like, what it means. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Tells you what it means. And then, okay, yeah, we're going to Exegol. That's like, what C-3PO said. Death Star. The Wayfinder is on the Death Star. Okay, here's where things get a little bit complicated. Ray goes to a moon where the Death Star's wreckage was, and then, back at the wreckage, she finds the Wayfinder in an empty room right here, and then, okay, now we're getting to the complicated parts. I'm going to speak really fast right now. Ray! Ray's right here. Ray finds this person that's like her with a double-bladed red lightsaber that twists inward and outward and collapses in on itself, basically. And they have a giant battle for about 15 seconds. And then Kylo Ren comes in. And so, right at the very last two seconds of the battle, Kylo Ren comes in. Ray gets cut and drops the Wayfinder. It coincidentally rolls across the room into Kylo Ren's hands, he says, the only way you're getting to Exegar is with me. Crushes the Wayfinder. Okay. Now, this is what happens. They're on this big spire thing, having a lightsaber duel to the death. And all of a sudden, Leia, who knows she's dying, goes up to Kylo Ren at the very end of the battle and says, Ben. And then, in that less than three seconds that Ray has to spare, she goes in and stabs Kylo Ren. Yep, stabs Kylo Ren. Kills Kylo Ren off. For good. And then, after...
after Kylo Ren is stabbed, Rey uses this thing called Force Heal to heal the stab. <laughs> and then it's just basically a hole in Kylo Ren's clothes for the rest of the movie. And then what happens is, on Exegol, Palpatine is creating this thing called the Final Order, which is basically like 10,000 Star Destroyers that are circling around the planet ready for a giant battle. And then, and then, this is what happens. Then, you have on Exegol, a bunch of, a bunch of Star Destroyers. Then Rebels fly in. This is the end of the movie. Rebels fly in. Kylo Ren turns good. Han Solo gives him a life lesson. And then, the Rebels are fighting, and Rey and Kylo Ren slip in and make it into the Emperor's throne room in an Exega, whatever it is. And then, all of a sudden, <coughs> yeah, we'll stick here. all of those Rebels come in and start flying in and destroying all of the Final Order. But then, Finally, the Emperor shoots out a bunch of lightning. Oh yeah, I forgot to know he is OP in this movie. He shoots out a bunch of lightning out to the entire planet of Exegol and electrocutes every single ship and blows them up, basically. But then, when it looks like all hope is lost for the Resistance, a fleet of 500 Resistance ships just comes in and says, yeah, we're taking over this place. The final order's no more. And then Emperor's like, what? And then he goes all crazy like Soul Sucker. And then sucks out the life of Kylo Ren and Rey. And then they're laying on the ground. So, and then Kylo Ren wakes up before Rey. <laughs> Gets thrown off a cliff. Then, all of a sudden... Yep, you have uh, the Emperor's right here, noticing it, so throws Kylo off a cliff. Then Ray wakes up, and he's like, Ray, where's Kylo? And then that's where the craziness happens. So, secretly, Ray has two lightsabers. One is Leia's, and one is hers. And so, this is what goes down. The Emperor shoots lightning at Ray. She sticks up one of those lightsabers, and it just absorbs into a lightsaber. Then Emperor's like, I am all the Sith. And then she goes, but I am all the Jedi. Gets the other lightsaber, then puts them in an X shape, and then it goes back onto, Ka onto Palpatine, flies his entire body, and he's dead. And his death scene is insane. Lightning goes flying everywhere, <laughs> destroying everything on Exegol, and then the Resistance wins the end. So overall, yes, that is a good movie. And yes, I might even say it's the best Star Wars movie ever to exist. And yeah, this last one might be taking it a little too far, but it's better than The Mandalorian. I... Agree, there is nothing, no cute thing in the entire movie, even that little Ewok-like guy who memory flushed C-3PO, even him is not as cute as Baby Yoda. Definitely not as cute as Baby Yoda. But overall, yes, great movie, awesome. If you haven't seen it, I don't know why you literally just listen to me say the entire movie and what happened, but yes, I didn't go too into detail, but that's the major things that happened in the movie. It's a great movie. If you haven't watched it, you A, should watch it, but B, also shouldn't, because you literally just got told the entire movie over in this video. 